Are you tired of sweating? Let's build a DIY air cooler for under 100 bucks. Let's get to it. I tried to keep this under 50 bucks, but you know inflation is what it is. So this is very straightforward. Picked this up at Walmart. It was 22 bucks. Picked this Honeywell fan up. Not bad. 16 bucks. Both at Walmart. Went to the depot. Got some PVC and some elbows. And I'll show you what I'm going to use those for in a little bit. But the principle of this is basically just going to put ice in the cooler, direct the fan into the cooler, and cold air should come out of the pipes. Now, there's a million and one uh, videos out there on social media for this, but you know what? Why not record it if I'm going to make one myself? So, I'm assuming you all, you, got, you all have the tools to be able to do this. It's very straightforward. Really, you only need is a jigsaw and a drill. So, let's get to it. As you can see, all I did was take a Sharpie and outline where I want to cut the fan. Okay, so this fan obviously has a bit of a um, angle to it. So this should fit in very well and should seal pretty well. So I know this cooler isn't as big as you might expect because, well, I don't want to fit a 48 um, quart cooler out here just to be an air conditioner. Um, so I figured this is good enough where I could put it on a shelf someplace or stored in a cabinet. So that's why it's this size. So all I'm gonna do is drill a pilot hole for the jigsaw and get to it. Okay, so obviously this is a cheap cooler, so it is not insulated. It's actually hollow, which is a surprise. So uh, you might run into foam inside, that's fine.
So as you can see, there's the lip here and here because this isn't uh, as wide as I would like it to be. So all I'm gonna do is cut the center plastic out first and then I wanna see what I'm working with under here because I don't wanna cut into the sides or the base of it. Okay. You get what I'm saying. So I flipped it over just so I could have some uh... So I flipped it over so I could uh, have some better control on the underside. What was I saying about control? So let me just make sure clear uh, because of the way the fan is designed and has that angle in the front, uh, the top hole is going to be a little bigger than the bottom. So this should fit right in like that. So. makes a mess. Might have to whip out the Bremen here soon. Oh yeah, very nice, very nice.
we're almost there. We just, uh, these points I need to shave down so the fan can fit and then I'm happy. All right, this isn't, this is a DIY cooler, air conditioner, whatever you want to call it. It ain't gonna be perfect. ugly as could be, but is what it is. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, obviously I screwed up a little bit here. This is too big, so I'm just gonna caulk it. We're done with that for That's what we're going to go with for now. Now obviously this made a mess so I'm going to clean up.
and that's basically it for phase one. Now I'm going to cut the holes for the pipes. Okay, so I was going to put this out through the top, but just because of the size of the fan, I don't have the room. I'm going to put the pipes out the sides like this. Yeah, like this. And the pipe will extend to the bottom. So yeah, I like this. I like it. But it's bloody hot out here, so I'm going to do it off camera. So all I did was uh, take a Sharpie and I, you know, basically outlined, outlined the pipe right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Now, tip, you want this to be tight, so you're actually going to go inside of the line that you traced.
probably should be wearing a mask. Break time. Battery died. So while my Dremel battery is charging, I did go ahead and just uh, test fit this. And look at that fit. That is exactly what I'm looking for. For the first time drilling a hole in a cooler, not too bad, not too bad at all. I'm gonna do the other hole. Through the magic of video editing, I now have two holes and I cleaned up the top of them. Is it perfect? No. But it gets the point across and honestly that's all I really care about. So now I'm going to measure and cut for the PVC pipe, put my elbows in, and then we'll actually be able to test this thing out. Now, is it perfectly going to be sealed? No. Um, it's going to take some uh, fine craftsmanship to make this look okay, but I want to get this done so I can show you guys. So I don't want the pipes to be completely to the bottom. I want to leave a good inch or two so air can get back in. Uh, eventually, I'm going to put a like shelf down towards the bottom so um, the ice is suspended above it and the, the, the pipes will go below the shelf so the air is forced through the ice. But I haven't found a shelf that I like the price of, which is nothing.
So based on how much pipe goes into the elbow and the clearance that I want on the bottom, I'm going to cut my pieces to be five inches each. This doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, any good old uh, blade you use in wood will work on PVC. And aluminum for that matter. By the way, it also makes a mess. I'm going to clean up. We're going to add a new thing to my list of things I hate to cut. Number one will always be MDF. Number two, PVC. Why? Because they make a mess. See? That's all I'm doing.
I suggest you do this in project in a place that you don't mean to get a mess. And normally I just blow everything outside, but we have enough microplastics in the environment already. So guess I'm sweeping. Now, a thin, high-speed um, square fan maybe 8 inch no, wrong way yeah that'd be perfect then, 8 inch square High speed uh, flat miniature box fan would probably work great here. I originally was going to do this with PC fans, but uh, none of the PC fans I have really work well. So that might be an upgrade for the future. Um, my hole is right now over nine. So I'd have to get a piece of plexi or something to go over this. Don't use wood because this is going to be a high humidity environment and I don't want mold. I already live in Florida. I'm just using ice packs for now. I'm not going to go across the street to buy a bucket of ice just yet. Not bad, not bad at all. You know what? I'm curious. to say I'm actually very impressed with how this is turning out. Yeah, the top hole is pretty ugly and I gotta work on that. I've never been good at cutting uh, fancy holes in plastic. 
not something you really do a lot of. So I'm going to work on that, but one thing I like about this, and I was worried before that this wasn't going to be, or this fan was not going to be fast enough. Um, I kind of like the fact that it's not, you know, um, a fan from the uh, big ass fans. Hey guys, if you want to donate a fan, I will definitely take it, but because this is a workshop, this isn't going to blow around a lot of, you know, not going to make a mess out here um, more than it already is a mess. So that I like. Um, I am tempted to put some ice in here and see how it works. But, uh, the holes on the side came out great. Look at that. I'll just take some sandpaper and I'll clean this up and this will look marvelous. Let me uh, bring you guys in for a close up. As you can see, the pipe ends just before the beginning, uh, bottom, and it gives space. So I'm going to put a grill, a grate or something here. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to make it out of because I don't want to spend any money on it. So I'll figure that out. But some kind of waterproof grate that I can put the ice on top of it so the air has to flow through it and out the pipes. See? And those... Uh, the circles I made, the holes I made for the pipes turned out great. I mean, those I couldn't ask for anything better. Obviously, the top hole leaves something to be desired. I might actually get some spray foam and fill this in because I wasn't expecting this to be open like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's that for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all cleaned up, sealed up, ready to go. And the next time, in a few seconds, by movie magic, we'll be ready to go. Might be a few days. Okay, I'm going to call this version one. Okay, so... In the moment I was gone, it's been two weeks. You can thank COVID. But I did end up putting a third vent in because I think I was getting a lot of back pressure. The fan was too powerful for only two openings. It works a lot better now. It's a little quieter. So uh, with the fan, I did end up taking off the grill. Um, that helped a lot. Um, Yes, don't mind my uh, hot glue mess. I did hot glue it on. Uh, that works great. And the thing I'd like about hot glue is that if I need to take it apart, I just yank it and it will come off. And just put it back together. So yeah, I'm just using uh, some uh, tape just to seal this. I am going to make it look better in revision two. But yeah, that's uh, it so far. I don't have a temperature gauge to uh, be able to read the temperature coming out of it. And I still need to find a bottom grill to put down so uh, my ice is suspended above the bottom. But that will come later. But right now, this is it. Um, this cost about $65 total. And you know what? I am very, very thrilled with it. Uh, I think version 2 is going to change this fan out for a PC fan for them. Because uh, the construction of this has a good... Uh, area inside which I should be able to float some uh, like 120 maybe 90 millimeter fans before them in there I need to do some math and see how to fit but yeah I think this looks great and it does work very well I'm gonna do a real good test I'll probably do it as a uh, as a short video just uh, to demonstrate how well it works when I actually get a bag of ice but I don't feel like going across the street right now so yeah, what does everyone think?